So I got to talk about my fellow New Yorker. Born in Astoria, Queens, Luba Mason is a Broadway star and a singer whose unique sound is a mu musical genre onto itself. Her new album is called Triangle. It features new arrangements of songs from greats such as Paul Simon and the Beatles. Triangle drops on Friday. Please welcome Luba Mason. Nice to have you back on Good Day New York. How are you doing during all of this craziness? You know, I'm doing fine. Um, you know, I, as soon as I decided I was going to release my album, I thought, you know, here's here's a really good focus for during this time. And um, I'm really glad I'm doing it because uh, I've got the time to put towards it. You well, know? you know, we're glad that you're doing it, too. The album is fantastic. You were you. on Broadway and Girl from the North Country and doing great. And you, I get, you were closed down one week after you opened, right? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's just this rush before you open a show. You're in previews at night. You're rehearsing during the day. It's just like this constant, relentless schedule that you're on. You finally open. You want to take a deep breath and kind of relax into the show, and boom. <laughs> <laughs> they shut you down. Right. And and we saw you on the drums. You had to learn how to play the drums. I know you play a lot of instruments. Yes. But, uh, yeah. You, yeah. you had to learn to play the drums, which I think was a challenge I heard for you. Yeah. It scared me to death. <laughs> but you always, just, you always do everything so beautiful. And not so just playing the drums. You have to sing and play the drums. I mean, it's one thing just to play it, but now you're singing against what you're playing, and it's... It's kind of doing this kind of thing. But you're a Broadway vet. I mean, come on, you've been in so many great shows on Broadway. And that's where you met your husband, Reuben Blades. I did. I did. It was in Paul Simon's The Cape Man. Uh, I think it was 1998, 1999, somewhere around there. Yeah. How yeah, so it was very unexpected. So this album that you're working on, The Triangle, um, yeah. it was something that you kind of worked on before the pandemic, or you really yeah. got it going during the pandemic? No, no, it was right. It was right before I started rehearsals for Girl from the North Country. Um, it was a new concept that I wanted to uh, put together. It's a new lineup that's never been recorded before. It's just voice, vibraphone, and bass, and we recorded it live at the Power Station, the legendary Power Station in New York City, in front of a live audience. And um, I had these two wonderful thoroughbred musicians behind me. Uh, Joe Locke on vibraphone, James Genus on bass. Uh, James is the uh, bassist for the Saturday Night Live band, and he tours with Herbie Hancock. And, and Joe is a, a legendary vibraphonist, uh, played with um, Grover Washington Jr. and Diane Reeves. So these guys were uh, real pros, real pros. It was a great, interesting project. And, and Luba, the husband, does he you know, say anything? Does he contribute anything to, to this album? Um, unless I ask him. He really, you know, you know, he really lets me do what I need to do. And if um, I get stumped with something or I need a second opinion, yeah, I ask him. And he tells me honestly. He's my biggest fan and also my biggest critic, um, which is terrific. You know, I can really rely on him for some good advice. Well, we have a little clip of your album, Triangles. Let's take okay. a listen. I love the way you reinterpreted this song. So you. sexy. Thank you. It definitely has a good vibe, a good good mood to it. Yeah, it's very different. And I also feel like if you're going to be covering a song, try to enhance it in some way or make it worthwhile. You don't want to cover a song and make it worse. 
Yeah, what are some of the other songs? Now, I know you've had some great collaborations in the past. You've worked with people like, you've performed with, uh, let's see, Wynton Marsalis, Paul Simon, James Taylor, Stevie Wonder, and Sting. Yes, also Al Jarreau uh, and some other great uh, jazz musicians like Randy Brecker and um, Dori Caimi from Brazil, um, Jimmy Haslip. Uh, yeah, some some really, I, I feel very fortunate, yeah. So uh, tell us a little bit more about the album. What are some of the other songs that you cover? Um, I definitely cover, I tip my hat to my Broadway roots. There's a song there from the band's visit. I have a Spanish bolero on the, the album. I even cover a heavy metal tune, Toxicity from System of a Down. I've got a couple of real straight ahead jazz classics, Say It, by Frank Lesser and Jimmy McHugh, and uh, In Walked Bud by Thelonious Monk. Uh, and of course, the Paul Simon tune, uh, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover, and Ticket to Ride, The Beatles. Oh, it's just um, so fantastic. It's a real eclectic repertoire, and it's something that I, I trademarked in 2013 called Mixtura. So I carried over this concept, this genre, into uh, this album. Uh, really wanted to challenge uh, the lineup of just voice, vibraphone, and bass with this eclectic repertoire. Well, it's fantastic. The album is Thank out you. now. It's called Triangles. And we'll listen to it until you're back on stage on Broadway, hopefully sometime soon. Yes, yes, absolutely. And um, you can get the CD um, here on my website, and you could also uh, get it wherever you uh, download your music digitally. Fantastic. And your website is Luba Mason. Yes. Luba, it's so great to see you. Stay well. Say hello to Ruben for us. I will. I will. Thank you so much. All the best. Thank right, you. Stick around. Good day's coming right back.